Um, chat, let me know. It is a bit on the quiet end. I might have to turn that up. Hi, hi. Oh, hey, Piggy. Oh, hey, Piggy. Piggy, what time is it for you right now? Uh, just about hit three in the morning. I'm not going to question it, Piggy. I'm not. <laughs> Welcome to another stream of Super Metroid. Um, I've streamed this a few years ago and I was very happy to do it. Um, as some of you may know, it's pretty much my favorite game period. But something I wanted to do when revisiting this game was uh, doing a speed run, which is, it's kind of an essential, well, not even essential, it's it, it's something that's cool to have. And basically uh, you get a somewhat of a different ending. And I say somewhat because, um, it's a it's a small ending so i have to beat the game in under three hours oh. i wish you the best of luck with that mate yep now before i get started i gotta make sure i got the uh, get the control set up properly shoot jump dash yep uh do i need to include hang on yep <laughs> and what it's Dice's comment to Piggy gifting him a sub, saying, Okay, I wasn't expecting a a sub for just confirming a time zone. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. No. There we go. Alright. Let's do this. The last Metroid is in I've never activity. I've never played Metroid. The galaxy oh, I played Metroid like for five minutes and was just lost. <laughs> I mean, that could be said for, like, a Zelda game. You can see it to get lost. Yeah. Yep. I'm excited that I'm actually going to start trying to play a Zelda game. I've never sat down and played one. Hmm. Juke's like, I'm going to be your guy for the for the game. I'm like, thank you. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> I mean, personally, like, if I were to recommend any Metroid game, this is probably just, like, bias coming from my end. Super Metroid is kind of, like, the one I would, like, recommend first. Um, some people prefer uh, Metroid Fusion because it's a lot more linear. Um, yes, Dice, this is on SNES. SNES. But um, if you want to try to, like, play the early, early Metro games, like, especially on, like, the NES, you're going to get lost very quickly. Um, and a part of that reason is because the first map is very, very copy and paste. And not to mention, the game was kind of rushed because they had a deadline, which is why there's a lot of copy and paste of um, certain maps that look identical to each other. So it's yeah. like, wait, wasn't I already over here? Wait, wait. What's an IRD over here? It feels like you're going in circles. Metric Fusion, how loud the power bomb noise. Yeah, it's very loud. Um, there's a lot of things in Metric Fusion, uh, sound effect wise, that did irritate me. Especially uh, when facing, uh, what was it, Ridley X? Because that screechy roar was like ear piercing. I'm like, oh god, that's obnoxious. Yeah, see, Blue Griffin Alzora knows what I'm talking about. It's awful. The last Metroid has escaped. The galaxy is no longer in peace. Yeah, exactly. Damn it. There we go. So, I am going to be making some mistakes along the way. Um, so, I will say this. I originally wanted to do, like, a speedrun match. Um with someone on kind of racing to the finish on finishing the game. That didn't happen, unfortunately, but... Um, like, I'm not going to dwell on it. It would be fun at one point to just, like, you know, just for the fun of it and not just, like... You know, not just for the sake of making the content, because that's, that's pretty much what I've done a lot whenever I came to these gaming streams. Yeah. Uh, but do something that's kind of on their own. Um, 
There's actually something that I thought would be fun if I can, like, find a player. Um, mostly I wanted to invite Solar Flare for that. Uh, he's been very busy with things in which I'm not gonna, like, question. You know, everybody's got their own things to do. Oh yeah, that's Dragon. right, I'm supposed to take damage. I dozed off a bit. Uh, I know, it's that silly. A, that is a cool dragon. That's Ridley. Oh. Uh, yep. Alright, there he goes. And... Whoop! Yeah, this is one hell of a way to start the game. <laughs> You're in some kind of space colony, and then you, after you investigate, you encounter something, and now you gotta escape. So the like the tent, like the suspense is already like over the top. What's the way? I'm Piggy's sorry. like we don't want to stress you out too much. <laughs> Piggy, did you just ask who Ridley was? No, no, it says a, it says a, draws you right in. Don't worry, I, I know who Ridley is. Okay. Yeah, boss yeah, battle right off the gate. I'm gonna turn down the uh, the game for just a bit more. I like how the game's just like, oh, we're not gonna stretch out too much, throw a boss battle, and then it's like, ah, now escape. <laughs> Funny story, the, the only the only time I actually ever played this version of Super Metroid was um, in the demo version on Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh god, yeah, Brawl had so many different, like, demo versions. It was kind of annoying, because it's like, little like menus are popping up like get out of the way let me play the game you know mm -hmm. but um i did start to get a couple of games on the virtual console not much Dang. oh on the switch no on uh the wii oh the wii. you didn't know that the wii used to have a virtual console uh virtual no, I, no I did i just i i i just forgot for a minute i was like because i I never got virtual console games on the Wii. Yeah, um, I chose not to do, um, because I, I did see the announcement on the expansion pack and everything, and the membership was just ridiculous. Yeah. And I'm just mm -hmm. so like, dude, come on now. If this is how, like, Nintendo is treating, like, people who like playing retro games, it's like, no. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite character of Bluey? Um, I guess Bingo. Oh yeah, speaking of Bluey, um, there's a, in my, in my town center, there's like a stage play of Bluey. That doesn't surprise me at all. Um, <laughs> as for, as for my opinion on Muffin, Muffin was the one who wanted to draw the cowboy hat, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I haven't like, damn it, I'm going really slow with this, I'm doing pretty bad. But, um. But as far as watching the rest of um, the rest of Bluey goes, I like I always have this mentality of watching shows from the very beginning, and Bluey is not one of them. It's just I all of a sudden uh, I just watched episodes. It, I know that it's slice of life, but I know that there's like some kind of uh, underlying narrative to an extent. Yeah, I I think for me I like um, I liked um, Frisky. Frisky. Yeah. I liked her relationship with um with Radley. It was funny. <laughs> yes, Bingo is Bluey's little sister. I think she's four and Bluey is six. Yeah. Feel free to correct me. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Hot food, hot food. Mmm. At least you're not playing the extremely snow, um, slow SNES version of Doom. Oh yeah, no. Like, the best way to play Doom is just play the, um, just play the PC version. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for this food to cool down because who hot hot? Oh, what kind of food? It's a hamburger helper. <gasps> oh, that sounds so good. That. Ooh. Now you're making me hungry. <laughs> Go eat something. It's too late for me to cook. I'm like, no, I shouldn't be eating past Shuka, like. There are times when Chrissy and I will cook at like eleven o'clock in the evening. I mean, also just the fact of like, if I cook so much food right now, 
I won't be able to, you know, like, finish it, and then I'll have to save it, and we don't have enough containers to really put in the fridge, because they all are- they all have food in it right now. Okay, did you take care of those other leftovers? Uh, no, because my grandma's still eating them slowly. She's eating I can't them slowly. Well, I mean, because, like, she'll eat it, and then she'll just, like, put it back in the fridge after a couple minutes. Because, like, when my mom was over, we had so much leftovers, and it was like, uh... Also, Corny's got a point. It's 7 p.m. where you are. Also, hi, Dusk. Hi, Dusk. Hi, Dusk. But, yeah, and also just, like, we technically had dinner already. But it's like... I'm trying my best not to eat too Ouch. much food because, like, I don't want to overeat before going to bed. Bone bro. To bed so early? I'm sorry? I'm talking to Shoko. Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, because I'm trying to have a better sleep schedule <laughs> right now while I'm still working. Mm -hmm. So, like, because I have to get up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. Ah, that explains it. Yeah, and then I'm at work on Tuesday, Thursdays right now until next week, until 4 o'clock. So it's like, I'm trying my best to, you know, not overeat while sleeping, because then it just builds up inside your stomach. Hi. Hi, Peter. Hello. I'm good. The tornado has passed. Good, oh, good, yeah. good. Glad that everyone's hey, safe uh, so far. That looks very scary. Damn it. Very scary indeed. I'll be playing my own game in the background, but I'll be vibing here. All right. Also, we're live, just so you know. That is fine. I am playing a retro game as well. Oh. What you playing? What you playing? KOTOR. KOTOR? Hell yeah. Knights <laughs> of the Old Republic. I am uh, I am using a couple cheat codes, but I'm just doing a dark side dual short saber build. Ah. Oh, wait. So KOTOR was just the acronym? Yeah, it's Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic. So, so K-O-T... Oh, hold on. Knights of the... Oh, yep. Kotor. Yep. Makes sense. I'm sitting here in Golden's uh, stream wondering if I should get to bed or not. Get what? If you get, get what? If I, should get to, if I should get to bed, seeing as it's 12 minutes past 3 in the morning. Go to bed! It's, it's up to you, Picky, but I, I, I agree with Golden. You should go to bed. And trust me, time zones suck ass. Yep. There are times I um, don't get to like have much of a chance to interact with um, Logic as often, because there were moments he would stay up at late hours, you know, interacting. And a part of me is like, Well, I mean, God, he he lives in England. He's not up at yeah. the same hour. Also, he doesn't have anything that occupies his time late at night, so we can technically have any sleep schedule that he wants. All right. Well, I just hope that his health is at least good, because. A lack of sleep can also cause, you know, some physical health problems. Yeah. Oh, it can destroy you. Yeah. Yes. Trust me, I know. Tell me. I, think, I think last time I talked to Logic was, like, when he was in the VC call with, I think, Toxic, Snick, and I. And we were just talking about, like, um, I think it was, like, talking about Fallout. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. Snick and Toxic have been playing a lot of uh, Fallout recently. Yeah, that not, not does not surprise me. Fallout. Yeah, and I had I have Fallout. It's just that I couldn't download it for a long time because when I got it from Bear originally, like I had my Mac, and so I just never thought of downloading it. <laughs> and so I kind of caved in tonight and downloaded it, which is why I had to move stuff to the external hard drive. <laughs> Which storage. one? Uh, 76. Oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah, no, Logic can go on tirades on how much he hates 76. He is trying it out more, apparently. Hmm. Yeah. I, I can be open-minded to the idea that maybe over time it's worth it, but my thing is is that I want to play it with a group. Yeah. That's what ah, I was going to do. It. Damn it, that's I, what I was, was going to do that tonight with Snick and Toxic, but, like, my... Sorry, my game was taking so long to download, it's just like, nope, I'm not going to sit here all night and wait for it to download. And yes, Tess, what did you say? I didn't hear you. I do not remember. No problem. Oh, okay. Sorry for 
if any of us were being interruptive. No. Just no, you're good. what I had to say was not that yes. important or crucial to the conversation. Mock ball! Damn it. Uh, Zuckerman Logic's been busy. Yeah. And, yeah, he's been... That's another thing he was talking to us about last time, was, like, he was busy with, um, a lot of other games he's been trying out, and a lot of Blender stuff. He's trying to be a game designer, right? That's what I heard last time I talked to him, yeah. Best of luck to him. Yeah, I wish him the best of luck in his endeavors. Yeah, I remember the days of, um... Because I used to major in uh, grab design or computer animation. It's, yeah. it's kind of fun. It is fun. Why it's a little that? complicated. Um, did, were, did you also study phlebotomy at one point, too? Yes. Um, so, it's this is kind of... I'm trying to keep the tone as, you know, level as possible. Because the shit from computer animation to learning medical stuff was kind of a depressing direction um but what? yes i did i did go to medical school um at one point when i reluctantly had to bad. i reluctantly had to give up computer animation why um reasons it's a lot to go okay. over then we don't have to go into it anymore. yeah like, yeah TMI. i remember uh bliss mentioned in general like not to make any anything on you it's more like um um it's more that um what is it um what is it animation is hard because a lot of the companies that do a lot of their animation it's more for like a movie or project and most of those places are in like south korea now yeah where it and if you want to get like an animation degree that's like really, really worth it in the West, most of those places are actually in Canada. Yes, but there are also problems with it here. Like, um, they are just putting together, um, what are those things? Yeah, I wasn't called? trying to say it was perfect, but yeah, I do explain. You know, I, um, what are, what are those things called? Group of people, you paid money to them, they're supposed Union? to protect you. Union, Union. thank you. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, but they don't end up helping you at all. Um, so they are just setting up, like, the first unions for video game designers here. It has been really rough. You know, for a brief second, I was just gonna say, like, you know, I wouldn't mind, like, moving to Canada. But then you it's... mentioned all of that, and I was just like, oh, shit. Like, you know, <laughs> just, uh, Canada's a great place to live if you have money. Yeah, like, I'm not, I wouldn't say moving for or against, because right now... The, like, everywhere in the West has, like, no matter which one you pick, there's going to be, like, you probably gain an advantage in one place and then drastically lose one in another. So you may as well just stay in the hell you're in because it costs a lot of money to enter someone else's hell. Yeah, yes. and, uh... Finances are a bitch. And that they can are. be said for literally everybody. Also, uh, Goldie, there's another problem for you, too. And what's California that? has an exit tax. Ew. Meaning, if you move out, you apparently owe California an exit fee. I think, um, I think Steve will mention that, uh, cause, uh, like, I'm, I'm somebody who, like, has an appreciation for Jackass, um, especially for Steve-O, cause Steve-O has blah, 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 he's a cool dude. That's, that's the short story of it, but he explained that he was moving out of California and owned a ranch in Tennessee, which I'm happy for. Mm -hmm. But uh, he said that he had to uh, mark some calendars so that way he's uh, prepared on, um, you know, what to pay for whenever he was moving out of California, including, like, state tax and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Is that even, like, if you're just moving to, like, another state in the United States? I mean, kind yeah. of. I think so, yeah. Yeah, Peter would yeah, know more than Yeah, that's me. what the exit... That's what the... Like, I'm not a legal expert... That's what the exit tax is. It was an attempt to prevent people from leaving California. Yeah. Well, that's stupid. Well, it's very stupid, especially since there's not enough work for everyone. All right, and bear down. All right, spore spawn. 
Oh, shit. Bad position, bad position. Oop. It's funny, like, I was talking to my, um, I was talking to my grandma about this and, like, another co-worker of mine. I was like, I was like, because I'm a, I'm a preschool teacher and everything, even though I'm a preschool teacher, I'm not going to probably get paid that much. <laughs> <laughs> because my aunt is a first grade teacher mm -hmm. and she doesn't get paid that much anyways. But her daughter, my cousin, works like a six figure job and she makes more money than her mom who's been teaching for like 25 years. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, oh, fun. I think that this could be based on. Too. I think that's based on the experience. I, I would, I would not think so because, like, she's been working for like so long, and she still doesn't get paid that much compared to other people. That's one of the main reasons why I don't. I don't want to say I, I, I left my graphics field because, like, I was like, oh, I'm not going to get a job in graphics in our area because it's very competitive, and all that so i'm like oh i'll go to i'll go to work as a preschool teacher it'll be easier to get get that job uh no i won't get paid that much <laughs>